Yo, 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 what is going on? YouTube, it is your boy KP here, and today we are back with the Legend stage for the Star Ladder Berlin Major Pick'em Challenge Prediction. Let's get right into the video. So again, guys, I'm going to be giving away all the souvenir packages I earn from this major. All you have to do is go to twitch.tv slash kpfps. The link will be on screen, down in the description, and in the pinned comment down below. Drop me a follow on Twitch. I'm live about five to six days a week. It would really, really help me out if you guys want to come through and support. And anyways, just comment down below that you followed on Twitch and you will be entered in the giveaway. Let's get right into the Pick'em Challenge, though. What you came here for, the Pick'em Challenge prediction. Legend stage for the Berlin Major. Just a recap of the Challenger stage. We got the five points we needed to get. It was a little bit dicey towards the end. Vitality barely made it through, but luckily they did the job. They got it done. We got our five points. That's what we needed. Getting into the Legend stage. Let's get it, baby. Okay, so this stage is really, really hard. Just straight up, there's a ton of good teams here. On HLTV, this is 16 of the top 20 teams in the world. So it is a very, very stacked tournament. Getting right into it, again, I'm going to leave the 3-0 and the 0-3 for last. And I'm just going to pick the seven teams that I think will advance at the bottom first. So first up, Liquid. Best team in the world, America's Hope. They've been looking hot all summer. I truly, truly do not see a world where Liquid doesn't go through. In fact, if Liquid doesn't go through, I will eat a raw egg live on stream just for you guys because that's how confident I am Liquid is going to go through. They're the best team in the world. Second up, Astralis. Uh, even though Astralis hasn't been looking too hot recently, Astralis is still the winner of the last major and they've made playoffs about every major they've been at so it makes sense that they would be one of the seven teams to advance through third i'm going to be going with navi or natus vincere uh, they have boomich they're looking better than ever simple still on fire zeus seems to be making good calls and overall navi is just a team that is in the playoffs of pretty much every major um fourth up i'm going to be going with mouse sports uh they went 3-0 in the challenger stage beating really good teams they took down g2 um, in a best of three, it seemed pretty convincing, especially on Vertigo. Their Vertigo looks absolutely insane. Uh, Kerrigan is a good leader. We all know Kerrigan has been here at this stage of the major before. He has led teams to this point. He has led teams to major finals. Uh, so he knows what he's doing. I believe Mouseports, truly out of all these teams, will have a good time going on to the playoff stage. I think they'll go 3-1 or 3-2 at, uh, at the slightest. Now, after Liquid, Astralis, Navi, and Maus, the picks get really hard from here. I truly believe that there's a lot of good teams that could show up and that could make the playoff stage. I'm going to use what I know and what is going on with these teams right now to make an educated guess about the remaining three teams that will go through. Again, we only need five points, so these last three picks are kind of just hoping one to two of them make it through. The fifth team I'm going to be picking is FaZe Clan, and the reason being is because they've had the whole player break to practice. Uh, they have legendary players such as Nico, Olaf, Guardian, Rain. And uh, you don't know what is going to come out of this FaZe Clan. I know they haven't played an official in a couple weeks. But before that, they were putting up pretty good results with Neo. They're not terrible results. They're constantly still beating Tier 1 teams. And they've had this whole break to practice and actually get set strats, set things down with Neo. And again, these are all legendary players that constantly make playoffs at majors and constantly make grand finals. So I just think raw talent-wise... FaZe Clan should be going through out of the seven teams that will advance. Now, the sixth team is going to be more of an off pick. I don't think a lot of people will pick them. But the, the thing people are sleeping on and the thing people are forgetting is NIP is playing with gold in this event. And Golden is a sick in-game leader. He took Fnatic and made them a world-class team again after uh, Flusha departed and, and Olaf was gone. And Golden just knows exactly what to do with players. He knows how to position them. He knows how to lead a team. Even if it is just for one event, they're going to have all the momentum because it, it might be Get Right's last event as a player, you know, last major as a player. Even if he says it won't be, uh, everyone knows the rumors he might be retiring. So they have nothing to lose. They're playing with a new IGL, and Get Right has all the momentum. So I think you'll see a fiery NIP that people aren't ready for, or some people just might 
they might just sleep on them and they'll get caught out. Um, and yeah, that's why I'm going with NIP for my sixth team. Now the seventh team, I truly think out of every team on this list, there's so many good options. There's, there isn't an incorrect answer. Um, I know you guys might disagree with me down in the comments below, but let me go through the reasoning as to why I'm going to pick this last team. Okay, so Ents, in case you didn't hear the news, Ents is cutting their in-game leader as soon as the major ends. That is Alexi B. He is getting dropped as soon as the major ends. So Ents is coming into the tournament knowing that basically like a dead team. Vitality did not good look did not look good in the challenger stage. Vitality looked like a shell of their uh, of their former selves. Um, they just weren't playing well. They dropped maps to Simon, uh, dropped maps to Greyhound, just did not look like their usual selves. MIBR is playing with their coach. Renegades is coming off a huge break of playing with Gratis Faction as he just secured his visa and they're playing with him again. They do not look like the same team they used to be either. NRG didn't really impress me in the challenger stage they dropped maps they shouldn't have to dream eaters and they also were dropping rounds to other teams that i thought they would blow out of the water g2 is a solid pick but i don't trust in them because they haven't really shown um that they are changed from the team they used to be they still show signs of weakness in certain maps and uh and strategies they play avangar i don't trust in crazy looks really really good but i don't trust in them either and then there's there's dream eaters so my pick here is going to be north i know you guys might disagree with that but i truly truly think they really impressed me in the challenger stage just the way they were playing as a team as a unit as a danish squadron just completely impressed me and i think with all the other things going on with the with the other teams right now north will blow them out of the water just straight up will beat them on paper and uh and yeah that's going to be my seven teams that are going to advance again there's a lot of good picks there's a lot of other picks you can make but this is my educated guess as to the seven teams that will advance through now the 3-0 and the 0-3 the 0-3 is pretty simple out of every team on this list there is not a doubt in my mind that Dream Eaters is the worst team. I watched them play. Their wins were legit. They did make it to this stage. But now, on this stage, out of all these teams, they are the worst team. Hands down, they play Astralis in the first match, so they are almost guaranteed to start off with a loss. And you know how momentum works. From 0-1, they'll go 0-2, and then they'll lose 0-3. Um, I think another good 0-3 option would be Renegades or Avangar. But based on first round matchups, I just have to choose Dream Eaters because they play Astralis first and they're going to get crushed. I'm sorry, Dream Eaters. You guys really impressed me in the last stage, but I think your, uh, your run at the Major is over. Now, the 3-0 is a complete gamble. Again, we want the guaranteed five points. So the 3-0 just has to be someone that's a gamble to get the, the 3-0 and might get us an extra point. Now, out of all the teams, I did not put Vitality in the bottom row, so that is why I'm going to put Vitality as the 3-0. I think maybe there was something in the water, there was something about the jet lag, something at the hotel that was causing them to play bad, and maybe for some reason, they come into the Legend stage ready to pipe, and they play well. Um, and we'll see the normal Vitality that we should be seeing, and they'll go 3-0. But again, I don't want to trust in them to put them down in the seven teams that will advance because of how they played over the last four days. Anyways, I'm going to lock this in. These are my picks for the legend stage of the Berlin Major 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your picks down in the comments below. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, did you get the five points for the coin? Are you on track for diamond? Let me know all that down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you fucking next time. Peace!